so this is our uh, primary lab uh, that we have. So this lab is essentially for uh, processing of uh, evidence and exhibits. We have a couple different areas that we specialize in processing of exhibits. When we do get firearms um, that are seized, uh, they generally come to us right away for uh, processing. Um, and I'll show you that process right now. This is one of our firearms. It's not a piece of evidence or anything, but just for our purposes today, it's one of our uh, Glocks. DNA is a huge part of uh, forensics. That is my first priority, and that essentially entails swabbing of firearms. Get a little bit of moisture on there, and then typically we are rubbing off all the skin cells that have been sloughed off by the hands um, through the handling of the firearm, specifically on the grip. And I'm satisfied that I have enough uh, area that I've covered with the swab, then I will seal it up into a swab box. And then this gets packaged up. If somebody has handled this firearm, there's a good chance that they have left fingerprints on it. I've laid some fingerprints on uh, the slide here, and I'll apply some uh, fluorescent orange powder here, and then we'll go and look at it in our laser room. So I'll put this together. Okay, so what I have set up here is a camera uh, attached to a television. Now what I'm doing here is shining a uh, laser at the fluorescent powder. The, uh, the powder should excite to the point where that it will become visible if there's a fingerprint on this firearm. Let's see what we got. Yeah. We'll just take a photograph of that. And now this fingerprint is preserved. And I would take this fingerprint back and uh, submit it to our RCMP, the national database, where we store all of our fingerprints. This is our uh, new uh, ballistics chamber. So what this allows us to do is generate our own um, firearm sa uh, ballistic samples uh, in-house. The purpose of this tank is to connect uh, shooting incidents in the city and upload those samples to the IBIS database, which uh, can make linkages between firearms across North America. The water comes up to right at the end of the plastic here. And then um, there's a pump that's running. And uh, as soon as I shoot the rounds into it, the, those projectiles get uh, deposited into the top of the filtering system. Okay, one, two, three. So we'll retrieve our projectiles from the pump here in the back. So those are three pristine projectiles that uh, were slowed down by the water tank that the CFS can use to upload the fingerprint of this firearm to the database. Every time a firing pin strikes uh, the primer on a cartridge, it leaves a mark. Mm. And so every single primer when you look at it microscopically, leaves a, an individual mark on every uh, cartridge case, as well as the projectile that uh, goes through the barrel. There's lands and grooves down that barrel, and those leave individual marks on each bullet. Uh, samples can get uploaded uh, in a microscopic way onto our database, and that's how they are able to essentially determine the fingerprint of each gun.